everybody and welcome once again to All The Fabric 3. So today we are going to have a look at the mod Conjuring and see how far we get with that. It's probably going to take two episodes I reckon to do all the items. So let's get started. So the first thing to do is probably get the book. And so the Conjuring should be on. I can't pronounce that. I'm going to say, I'll be honest before I start, I can't pronounce that. So this is going to start this mod and then it requires some materials. So let's go and have a look at here at the, at the mod itself. So there are, it doesn't have too many items, but the book does tell us how to get on with it. And also, not only does the book tell us, but also the quests will tell us as well. So let's have a look at the quests for this one. Conjuring. Okay, I've made the book. So that's our first step. Next thing along looks to be like the fire for the soul forge. The soul fire forge. Can't pronounce that either. I'm having difficulty today. And then we've got the other items which we're going to be doing, making. I probably will not do um, the tools and I probably will not do the gems today. But we might be able to get a, do most of the other stuff. So let's have a look at the book and see what the book says. And there's a section in the book called Getting Started Index Entry. I think it's actually got its own index entry here. So to start out, uh, basically what this mod does, Conjuring Basics, is improve spawners and you can create spawners out of almost anything as far as I, as I know so we need a supply of netherite scraps and some conjunction essence or conjunction essence uh, to get started and then we need to make the soul fire forge so let's make the soul fire forge I think I've got this I've got I'm going to do this over here bit of a long way <laughs> sorry about that we should jump and come over here so i've got some materials already prepared these by the way are recipes for soul alloy but i don't want that here so let's just remove this out of here like that so we need the soul fire forge to start with and that is this item here so we need some polished blackstone bricks some blackstone, soul soil, and some, I just, a one piece of obsidian. Oh, I don't think I've got any obsidian with me. Let me just go and get that and come back in a second. Right, I picked up some obsidian and I got the other materials out of this uh, shulker box here. So blackstone, you can make polished blackstone by taking four blackstone like this, and that'll produce some polished blackstone and some block blackstone bricks or polished blackstone bricks, which we also need, are made by doing that again. So that's how we get those materials. So I should have enough materials now to make this forge. Great. Right, so we've now got the forge here. And what we're going to do with the forge is we're going to set it up and automate it straight away. Now, to automate it, we needed about two things. We needed a dispenser, an observer, and some redstone. I've got redstone here, so plenty of redstone. We also need a, a comparator. Very, so it's actually very straightforward to automate this. I need about, it needs to be around about here. So we can put this down like this. And the way you use this is it's got a crafting interface, basically a three by three grid here, as you can see. And it's got this, which is a progress bar, and then the output goes into here. So for example, to make what we were looking at just before the um, soul alloy, what you have to do is you can put this Make the recipe. Now the recipe for this, if I remember rightly, is soul soil in the corners, gold and gold at top and bottom, and iron in the on left and right, and in the middle we've got the uh, netherite scraps. So we've got some netherite scraps. We've got plenty of that to be honest with you. So these two go like this, I think, and there. Oops, did not forget two more. And then we needed some soul soil in the corner, soul sand, soul soil. Go right like this and just let me take it off and that should start to process but we have to ignite it now to ignite this let's take out of here a um, flint and steel and then you just right click it like with a flint and steel like that and then you can have a look in here and now this if i've got the recipe correct which i have this is going to be progressing up so while that's doing that let's just take a comparator here redstone reparator here and see what's happening here it does actually emit a redstone signal, as you can see here. So let's take then some take some redstone out of here like this, and go back about three blocks, I think. And as you can see, this is actually increasing the signal as it goes along. And when it gets to fifteen, it will drop down again and turn off. And then the item has been made. So we've got two soul soul alloys in here. So what we're going to do is this basically means it will 
turn off when we've got a falling edge. So what I would like to do is to put an observer block facing into this here to emit a redstone signal. The other thing I need is a sticky piston, which I don't think I've got with me, but um, I need to be back one here. So what we can do, oh yes, that's right, let's start, let's go back up one step because I missed that step. If I put, oh, missed, let's try that again because I've got the hole at the top. I want to put a dispenser and I want to put the dispenser down here facing into the sulfur forge. So that should do the trick, yes it is. And what we can put into this dis dispenser here is a flint and steel, like that. And then this, when this receives a redstone signal, it will automatically ignite the sulfur forge. So for example, in here, I probably got a, if I got a lever here, yes I have, good. So to demonstrate that, let's just put a lever on, on here like this, onto the dispenser and then click it. And that sh has already ignited this, as you can see. I probably didn't do that from the best angle. So what we need to do then to get rid of this is to put some redstone here and bring into this an observer block. So there is, well, actually, my, that's on. Is that because of the, uh, probably because of this uh, switch. Let's break the switch. Yeah, it was. So I want an observer block facing in. So the arrow is pointing into this redstone. So let's, I've got a red observer block and I think you just do it like that. Yeah, that's right. So you've got the arrow here coming in and it's pointing into this. I've got a little bit too little items, but it's a bit too near, wasn't it? So let's just come out here and put into this some dirt let's go into the bag like that and then just fill in some blocks here, like that okay so we have a little bit more space to try to, to put into this a um redstone signal what we do now is we actually put a piston here and the piston is a sticky piston is going to push this redstone observer to the right it's night time i'll go and get the uh, Sticky piston will be back in a second. So I've now got the sticky piston, as you can see. So let's just put it down. Again, I want to put it down facing this uh, observer block. And then what's going to happen, let's just put a lever down on top of this again. Um, the reason I'm putting a lever on is just to demonstrate what happens when we get a pulse. So like that. So this isn't currently off. And when it goes on, the piston will get pushed out like that. And as it comes back again, in here we have uh, no more recipes. Let's so just put another recipe in here. So I just needed some netherite scraps, which I should have in here. Yes, I've got plenty of netherite scraps in here. And um, some more gold, some more iron. Let's put in one more gold, uh, two more gold here and here. And then put the netherite scraps back in here like this. We want to see this actually working, don't we? So when I push this back again, like, uh, if I can get into the right position, we might be able to see the forge light up. If I can go a little bit further for... Oh, I can't. Okay. So you right-click it and you can see that goes on. And then again, the progress comes along here. In fact, I've got this just a little bit too short. So let's just put one more row of redstone. Because it needs to point into the... Into the piston here. Remove the... Like that. And it's not pointing in, so we have to go around back one let's remove these two then it'll point into here like that and then when it finishes this recipe should be nearly finished i guess yeah it's nearly finished it will turn off the piston will come back again and it will ignite the sulfur forge again and so we've now got some more soil alloy well i'm going to just make a couple more of these let's make um, 12 i think in total i'll do it like this so that's going to progress automatically. We'll make those items that we want. So we can let that, so let that go on, let, let it work. And then we can have a look at the next part of the process that we need to do. So that was a little bit of automation of the Sulfur Forge. It does give you a hint in here as well. So let's go back here. So netherite scraps, we've got plenty of those because of industri uh, modern industrial, no industrial revolution. The conjunction essence, this one here is we need this. So what it tells you about the conjuncta conjunctation essence of us is it is utmost important and embodies the basic properties of souls. All souls share and therefore involve the creation of many capable materials. One can obtain some essence by breaking ordinary spawners and also plundering chests. 
and then there's a less concentrated version of this. So I'm going to just go, I've got set up, I think in here, Battle Tower. Now I've been lucky, Battle Towers uh, don't exist in the current versions of the pack, but they do have a lot of spawners in if you can, <laughs> So let's go down here and break a few spawners. There's a couple over here. It doesn't matter what we do. Every time we break one, we just get one conjunctivescence like that, as you can see. We've now got some more. I've got 13. Let's go downstairs and get pick up a few more. We don't actually need that many conjunct conjunctation essence. Well, I can't speak. In total. Down here. But we can happily break these away like that. I've got them lit up with torches, but I'm not going to come back here again, I don't expect. Except for, I just want some more books, which is unlikely at this stage of the game. <laughs> so we're getting two for each level, and down we go with one more. So I'm picking up quite a few of these, as you can see. There's nothing in this level. I must have already plundered that one. Okay, good. Oh, one over here. What was this one? Spawner drowned. Okay. And probably this is about the final level, I think. So just pick, picking these up. And I'll finish these off and I'll be back in base in a few seconds. Right, so these are finished and so we've got some soul alloy. Let's have a look at what we've got to do next. Um, you can control shift click those out of there, of course. So let's get to the book again. So we've made an advancement and we've probably also created a, uh, a quest. Let's have a look at the, this one here. So we've got this and then we need to make some lesser conjunctation essence. But all you do to make lesser conjunctation essence is take one of these here like this, or however many you want, I suppose, depending on how much you want. And then just right click this, shift right click this against stone. So shift right click it, and then you get these four lesser conjunctation essences. Wow. So that's the beginning, and that's what we need to do to start with. So let's have a look at the next thing that we have to do. So we've covered that one, and you can craft this into a large one if you need to. So next rest, let's have a look at. Let's have a look at the quests, it's probably a good thing to do, and claim some of these quests. So we can get 16 nether quartz, which we will need later on as it happens. Oops, try again, I missed that one actually. Forget to close it. Then we've made the soul fire forge. So we get one lesser conjunction essence plus two gold ingots. Let's take those. And then we need a conjunction essence, which we've got. So that gives us some soul soil. And then finally, we get a random reward for getting some lesser conjunction essence. In this case, we got a mango. So the next thing we have to do with this is to make these items, a, conjun a conjuncture uh, and a conjun conjuring scepter. Uh, scepter. I'm really having difficulty with this. Plus a focus. So let's have a look at the recipe for the focus and let's get on with this one. Because that's the first part of the of the mod. It's actually all of this is in the book, and I don't want to read the whole book. So let's get to have a look at the recipes for this one. So the focus, for instance, is in here. So it's got gold, soul, alloy, and a lesser conjunction essence. Whoa. So let's put that set that one up. From the picture, actually, you, you can see that the gold girl gold goes in the corners. The soul alloy goes in the middle. Or the, on the side, and then the lesser one just goes here in the middle, like that. And as soon as that happens, it should automate as well. It's going to make this, as you can see, this power is increasing slowly as over time as this gets up. So the next one of these is the Conjuring Skepta. So for that, we need a diamond, a blaze rod, and some nether quartz. Now, I should have that already prepared in here. Blaze rod, sorry. Um, Oh, diamond I haven't got, and some nether quartz we just picked up. All right, I'll be back with the diamond, see you in a second. So now the focus has finished, so we can take the focus with us. Then the next one we can make was the um, Skepta, which is made with a diamond, uh, blaze rod, and a 
Now the quartz doesn't take very long, as well as you can see, it's a fairly fastly progressing one. Uh, <clears throat> so we'll get that in a second. And then the next one we need to make after this is the conjun conjungura. <laughs> so what we need for this is a solar alloy around a conjunction essence. Wow. Sorry, I'll do apologize. My I'll get it eventually, but at the moment I'm just having difficulty with it. So we've just got enough solar alloy. So let's make one of these. And while that's making that, you can see it's just lit up here. So we can have a look at the book again and see what we've got to do next. So go back to getting started. So moving forward, the constructing of a conjun conjurer, as well as a conjurer sceptre. I've got a bad link for that one. You can actually see you can link these in here and you can then click the, the links. Don't all show up, but they do sometimes. It says it's made in the Solfar Forge with and it takes 60 seconds. Um, I'm not going to read all this. Let's go back again. This one's got a bad link. And then this one has a conjuring focus. And that is basically is important for the ritual of extraction, which is what we're going to be doing next, hopefully. Let's go back again. Uh, so we need to do ritual basics. So for ritual basics, we need some blackstone pedestals. Okay. Now blackstone pedestals are made with gilded blackstone, polished blackstone stairs, and some blackstone bricks. We also need, does it tell me, and they have to link these to the core. Let's go back again to the bit here. We also need a focus. I think it's called a focus. Let's have a look. A soul funnel, sorry. We need a soul funnel. This catches it. So all we need to do here is have some polished blackstone and then put it either through the stone cutter or the cutting machine. And that will make, so it's blackstone or polished blackstone will make this soul funnel. So let's go and make those bits. It's night time. I'm actually going to stay at the moment in night time. We're going to go and capture a mob. In fact, let's do that first. So here I have a recipe for a golden lasso. So this will hold non-passive mobs, okay? And then here we've got a recipe for a golden lasso with some cursed droplets, which we made previously, and that makes a cursed lasso, which then uh, holds monsters. Be where they may come out cursed, okay? And then the last one here is a recipe, which I think it goes like this. I'm not sure if I remember rightly, to make a diamond lasso. So that holds most creatures. I presume most means it doesn't hold all creatures. So what I'm going to do is go and pick up a zombie. And there should be some over here because it's night time. About the only place there are, so let's just go a bit faster. I'm going to get the zombie. Here's a zombie over here. I should be able to just right click him and pick him up like that. <laughs> Very easy. So the next thing we have to do is make these pedestals and the funnel. Now I have got a stone cutter just over here, so let's just use this stone cutter. So we could, I suppose the cheapest is just to use some black stone like this, put some black stone in here and then make this soul funnel. Take it out. And then we need to make these pedestals. We'll do that over here, because I've actually got the recipe prepared for the um, gilded black stone. So let's take this out of here like that. So that was just one black stone surrounded by gold nuggets. So the pedestal, we need four of these things. So let's just, oh, I need some steps. Let's make these steps. What do I need for that? Is it polished black stone? It is. So we, I think I've got some polished black stone already prepared. We need um, two sets because we need to have four um, pedestals. That's the, that's the idea. So there's a pedestal here. Let's make these. So we need four pedestals and then we need the soul funnel. So now we can put this down. It's night time now, I can actually go and have a quick sleep and I'll be back in a second. Right, so now we can put down the soul funnel and it actually forms a pattern and we can see this in the book. In fact, the book tells us in fact how to do that. So if we go back here, we should have some, let's have a look, the right scraps getting started. So we need ritual basics, ritual extraction. Okay, so this is the ritual of extraction. So what we need to do now, basically what this does is extract 
the soul of the mob into this focus. Um, so it tells us we need a soul funnel, some soul sand. We put soul sand in it. And if you do this in a soul sand value guaranteed for a hundred percent success, but with the four pillars here, we'll just do just as fine. So this is the ritual of extraction, what we have to set up. So you can visualize this by clicking the block here. And then when we come down here, we can say, okay, this looks good. We'll just bring it around here and then right click the where you want to set it up. And all you need to do then is just place down the items that you've got that you want to do. So that's no big deal. Like that. And I've made conjure. Yes, I need this conjuring skip. Conjuring the script in here. I need to put this down as well. Oops, forgot to do that. Let's just put this down. The funnel down in the middle. Okay. And then what we do is we right click the pedestal against the. Oops, not. <laughs> I have to shift right click it. Sorry. Against onto the funnel like that. And when that happens, let that work. Linking from there to here. That's right. So now we should see some animation pointing into this. So let's do, yes, there you go. Let's do the next one. So shift right click that and then right click, shift right click the funnel and you can, then it links the two in. So we'll do that on the four sides like this. Okay. So what this now needs is some soul sand in the middle of it. We've got the soul sand here. So you right click the salt up onto that like that and it changes its shape as you can see. And then what you need to do is you put a sort of conjuring focus in the middle of this, like this. I'm going to do this slightly later on. Now what I'm going to do first of all is build up a very small um, place to place the <laughs> space to place the, um, have I got the stuff I want? Yes, I have. I want some, basically some fret, fences so I can put the, the zombie in so he doesn't get away. In fact, what you don't have to do is you don't have to do all the sides. So I'm just going to do the corners like this. Oops, not where that's the one I didn't want to do. Oh, I'll break it in a second. So we can happily do this, like set it up like this. And maybe another layer is not such a bad thing to do. Let's just do another layer. If I want to do an Enderman, for example, then it would be good to have it three blocks high. Like this, and then I can break this block here. And then I can reach the soul funnel. So what we now need to do is put a lid on this of some description. It doesn't really matter what to use, I guess. I'll use some salt sand. So that the light doesn't uh, just kill the zombie. <laughs> Simple as that. Okay, good. So now we can put the zombie into here and he shouldn't burn up. So let's see if we can do that. So let's get the lasso. Like this. And then put the zombie down in in here. I've just got to get him in the right place so he doesn't hit the wall. I think he'll do. There you go. So we've got a zombie in here now. And if you look at this zombie, he will get slowness. I think he gets a slowness 20 or something like that when he's standing in the right place. And when we've got the um, the focus in there, we need to put the focus in. So let's put the focus in now on the soul funnel like that. And you'll see now he's got this item in here. So what you then do is you take your Skepta and then shift right click, I think you shift right click the soul funnel or just right click the soul, soul funnel. And then it starts a process like this. And he goes up and dies. Oh, and he didn't succeed this time. So it failed. Uh, it's actually the first time it's failed for me <laughs> as it happens. So I have to go and get another zombie and come back in a short while. I think it's probably the answer to that. So if we did this in the Soul Forge and the Soul Sand uh, Valley, it would have, this would have definitely worked, but we don't need to do that. Right, I'll be back in a second. Well, I forgot to do something that actually was very important. We have to put onto the pedestals here a drop of the mob that we're going to um, capture the soul. And that improves the chance. Otherwise, it's just a 10% chance. I think this should definitely work. So it's just coming up to night time. So what do I need in here? Just this, just the diamond of the suit, I think. Uh, the focus we'll also need. 
We could actually put the focus in now. It doesn't matter which way around we do it. So we can just, oh, we need to put some soul sand in here as well, don't I? Let's do that first. And then the focus. Right, okay, good. So it's night, night time now. Let's go and get another zombie and try again. <laughs> in fact, I might as well just do that and come back in a second. Right, I've got my zombie now. Let's put him into here if we can do this again. Um, full funnel. Oops, just done exactly what I didn't want to do. We can actually put it, doesn't matter which way around, put these in here. So we can then put that onto there. And then we can sh right click the funnel. You've got to get, make sure that it's actually not the zombie that's being selected here. So we need the funnel. There we go. So now we can see what happens. He goes up again, and this time. That worked. We've now got a conjuring focus with a zombie inside it as you can see before it didn't have the, the the little diamond bit in the middle so now we can then make a conjurer and actually put this into it and i'll show you how to do that so we need to go somewhere that I haven't got protected otherwise the zombies aren't going to spawn so let's have a look somewhere over here may be a good idea it also has to be dark i'm just trying to think where i can go to that's dark and i've got uh mobs will spawn somewhere around about here I think because there's plenty of mobs around here I'll tell you what I'll find a place and I'll be back in a second well a battle tower pretty good place to do it actually that's a, what you do is you put the conjurer down here like this and it's also affected by redstone signal so let's just put a lever on the redstone uh, on the conjurer doesn't really matter which face I do it on let's do it in the front and then we need to insert into here the conjuring focus or the con and that's hard i didn't know how to do that so what you do is you take this conjuring skip skipped <laughs> i'll get it eventually and you can right click the the conjurer with that then you get this item in here we'll have a look at these next episode but this time all you do is you put the focus in the middle like shift click it in the middle and then it becomes active now if i press f7 and have a look then they're only going to spawn over there um but i'm probably too close anyway so if i break another torch then we'll have a bit of a better spawning area so let's just go out a bit further away like that and then press um turn off the, the red lines again and there we have our first zombie that spawns as you can see so then we can get rid of the zombie come along here turn him off again and we can come back here so i am actually at the moment in the the same Battle, stick, battle tower as I was before. So I just come in at the, at the top. So what I'll do is I'll probably just move the thing from the top here and bring it down. Let's just, do, I'll bring the waystone down to where the, where the mobs are. That's probably the best thing to do. Because they won't spawn, of course, when I am um, um, when I'm not around. They'll only spawn, well, they might do but from darkness rather than from no they won't do because it's turned off so they won't spawn until we're around here like this so let's just put the place down down here and i called it i called it one battle tower last time so i'll do the same thing again in fact the battle tower isn't very far away from from the base anyway So we can now just simply click that and go home like that. So that's it. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it and learned something new. And between episodes, I'll see if I can pronounce these things a little bit better. Until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.